<laughs> I was 16 when I first played this game. Back in 1983. I was, and still am today, the only person I know, that completed the game. I was heavily into computer programming back then, and tried a few times to create my own version of the game. But computers were very slow in those days. Unless you could program with machine code. After getting back into computer programming in recent years, or coding, as they call it these days, I decided to have another go. I haven't tried to copy the game exactly. But I've tried to make it very familiar. Complete with snap jumpers. Uh. Droids. And drones. And of course. The shadow. <laughs> Let's try that again. He does need a bit of work. I'm experimenting with the free life, being a pickup that's dropped by the droids. With the idea being, the more desperate you are, the more likely a free life will be dropped. For example, when you only have one life left. I created all the sounds in Propeller Head's Reason. You can fire two shots at a time. But I'm toying with the idea of creating weapon pickups. Where you can increase your firepower, with more shots, and maybe even different weapon types. Apart from the main character sprite, which I downloaded from the internet, I created all other sprites and textures myself, using Piskel app. Okay, they're still a bit rough. But I'm also trying to keep the 80s feel. Yes, you can shoot the bullets too. And maybe I should award two points for that. And bear in mind, if the graphics look a little shaky, that's probably my capturing software. That and also the fact that I don't have a solid timer yet to control the frames per second. But take my word for it, 
The game runs smooth in real time. That particle effect, when the enemy explode, is a recent addition, and still needs refining. There's a lot more room to maneuver, than in Seamus. I find that we lose a lot of control using the modern joypads of today, as opposed to the Atari-style joysticks we used then. And although I still want the game to be difficult to complete, I want the average person to be able to at least get out of the black. Something which was extremely difficult to do, in Seamus. Oof. The drones that are more blue in color, and spin faster, are more aggressive. They chase you more aggressively. The drones can shoot the androids. And the androids can shoot the drones. I'm about to enter the blue maze, where the enemy will get more tricky. Yep, the AI still needs some attention. <laughs> Okay so that's it basically. The game is still very much in development. When in game over mode, the game cycles through random rooms. I think it gives it an arcade effect. There's still lots to do, like the room with the barriers, where you have to shoot through the small gap to unlock the room. And I'll probably get to work on that next. Then there's the question mark pickups, the bonuses, and better AI stuff. As for the code? Well it's C++.
and I use the SFML library for easier graphics and sound. But more of that another day. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.